Dear grade 12 students, welcome to another video lesson which will be devoted to grammar. We continue with the reported speech and this time we will be focusing on the special introductory verbs. So please get your student's book and open it on page 71. Today's lesson has three learning objectives. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to first recognize the use of special introductory verbs in a reported speech by answering two questions with a high degree of accuracy. Second, report direct statements using given special introductory verbs with a high degree of accuracy in terms of form. And the last objective, choose the suitable special introductory verb to report six statements with a high degree of accuracy. As usual, we will begin with a starter activity. I would like you to think of verbs we can use to report people's exact words instead of the verb say. I will help you with two examples, which are offer and promise. So please pause this video here and do the task. Well done. Let's correct. So we can use also the verb remind, refuse, allow, suggest, invite, order, warn, admit, deny, and agree. So these verbs are called special introductory verbs and they will be the subject of today's lesson so let's get started we will start with activity c page 71 i would like you to read the sentences in the speech bubbles and the reported speech below them and find out what replaces the verbs promised insisted and admitted in the direct speech. So please pause this video here and do the task. Well done. Let's check it out. So in Jake's words, what replaces the verb promised? Very good. I give you my word. Then what replaces the verb insisted in team's words? Exactly. You really must let me. Finally, can you tell me what replaces the verb admitted in Kelly's words? Well done. It's true. We remain with the same activity. Now I want you to think of other verbs that can be used to report people's words. Please pause this video here and think of them. Well done, let's find out about these verbs. So we can use verbs like agree, offer, refuse, demand, threaten, and promise. And these verbs must be followed by the full infinitive, which is to plus the base form of the verb. Now let's see some examples. I'll teach you how to drive, said Patty. We can report it by saying, Patty offered to teach me how to drive. You notice that we have used the full infinitive immediately after the verb. And of course, we have changed the pronoun you to me. The second example, no, I won't lend you my camera, she said. We can report it by saying, she refused to lend me her camera. Again, in this example, we have used the full infinitive and we have changed the pronouns you and my to me and her. The second group of introductory verbs includes advise, allow, beg, remind, forbid, permit, and warn. These verbs are followed by an object and the full infinitive. 
Let's have some examples. The first example, you should get more exercise, Ivana, said Greg. So we can report the sentence by saying, Greg advised Ivana to get more exercise. You notice that the verb advised is followed by the object Ivana, then the full infinitive of the verb. The second example, you can come to the lecture, she said to him. So we can say, she invited him to go to the lecture. Also in this example, the object pronoun him appeared immediately after the introductory verb invited and comes the infinitive form to go. The third group of verbs includes accuse of, apologize for, admit to, insist on, deny, and suggest. These verbs require the use of the ing form of the verb. Let's have some examples. Example 1. George cheated on the test, said Cynthia. It could be reported by saying Cynthia accused George of cheating on the test, and here appears the ing form of the verb. The second example, let's go on a picnic, said the mother. It could be reported by saying the mother suggested going on a picnic. And also the ing form of the verb is used immediately after suggested. The last group of verbs is composed of explain, claim, announce, inform and admit and these verbs are followed by that and a clause let's examine some examples the first example the class trip has been postponed he said now this sentence can be reported by writing he announced that the class trip had been postponed and here appears the that clause. You notice that the verb form has been changed from the present perfect to the past perfect. The second example, he never buys me presents, she said. You can report it by writing, she complained that he never bought her presents. Also complained here is followed by the that and a clause. And you notice also that the verb form has been changed from the present simple to the past simple. And of course, me changes to a her. So we conclude that the special introductory verbs, which are followed by that clause, are treated like the statements. So we need to change the verb forms as we have seen in the previous video lesson, which means that you are not going to use only the ing form or the full infinitive form. You are going to change the verb form according to the corresponding tenses. Now let's do activity D, page 71. I want you to rewrite sentences 1 to 7 in the reported speech. For presentational reasons, this activity has been divided into three slides. But for you, I want you to pause this video here and do the whole activity. Well done. Let's correct. How should we report the first sentence? Very good. We can write, Jack denied getting a pay rise. Or you can write, Jack denied having got a pay rise. Now, sentence number two, what have you written? Exactly. Jake apologized for not attending the business dinner. Or also, Jake apologized for not having attended the business dinner. 
We carry on with the correction. So sentence three, can you tell me how it should be reported? Excellent. We can say, Mr. Hyde advised me to work harder if I wanted that promotion. Of course, you notice that the pronoun you changes to I and the second verb want changes to wanted. So the full infinitive is used only with the verb that immediately follows the introductory verb. Good. Next sentence four. Can you tell me how it should be reported? Excellent. We can say, Ryan refused to help me because he was too busy. Of course, uh, we change I to he and um, to uh, was. Then sentence five. The correct reported speech is what? Well done. Betty told me that Tina was looking for a flat in the city center. Now the last two sentences. Sentence six. How have you reported this sentence? Excellent. We can say, Miss Brown informed the applicant that they would call him or her for another interview. Finally, what have you written for the last sentence? Great. We can say, Walter suggested taking up a new hobby. Now let's see some exam-like questions. This question has been taken from the practice test of the academic year 2018-2019. The question asks you to report the sentences and they have provided you with the beginning of the reported sentence and they have asked you to use admitted. So pause this video here and write the answer. Well done. Let's see the answer. What have you written? Excellent. So the boy admitted eating the cake while everybody was or had been asleep. Of course, you have or you must use the ing form of the verb after the special introductory verb admitted. And also you have another verb, which is was. Here, the Evaluation Institute model answer give the possibility to keep the past simple tense as it is or change it to the past perfect and to write it had been and both are considered the correct answers. The second type of exam-like questions appeared in the practice test of the academic year 2017-2018. So please pause this video here and answer it. Well done. Let's see the correct answers. How have you reported sentence A using the reporting verb apologized for? Excellent. You can write, Amna apologized for dropping the litter on the beach. So please, your answer is going to be marked on the use of the ing form of the verb after apologized for. Now, for sentence B, how have you reported using the verb advised. Excellent. You can write, he advised the staff to reduce paper consumption. And of course, also here, you pay attention for using the infinitive form of the verb and the indirect object, the staff. For our last objective, we will do the following activity. We will provide you with six sentences, three in this slide and three in the next slide. Your task is to choose a suitable introductory verb 
to report these sentences. Pay attention that there are two extra verbs you will not use. So please pause this video here and report these sentences using a proper introductory verb. Well done. Let's correct together. So which verb have you selected for the first sentence? Excellent. Deny. So we should write Rick denied breaking the vase. Make sure you use the ing form after deny. Or you can write Rick denied having broken the vase. Next. Can you tell me which introductory verb suits sentence two? That's it. Complain. And in this case, we should write it. Emily complained that I was always making too much noise. Now, in this sentence, we have changed you to I and the present progressive to the past progressive. Then, which verb have you chosen for sentence three? Great, the verb order. So, we should write, the policeman ordered the burglars to put their hands up. Here, of course, you need to uh, use the indirect object, the burglars, immediately after the introductory verb ordered. To use also the full infinitive and to change your into there. We continue with the same task. So please pause this video here and choose a suitable introductory verb to report sentences 4, 5, and 6. Excellent. Let's correct together. So sentence four should be reported using which verb? Exactly, allow. So we can say, James allowed his brother to wear his leather jacket. Of course here, make sure that you use the indirect object, his brother, after the introductory verb allowed, and to use the infinitive form of the verb. Also to change the pronoun you to his. After that, sentence five. Which introductory verb can be used to report this sentence? Excellent, accuse. So we should say, Susan accused Mary of lying to her. Also for this sentence, make sure you use the indirect object, Mary after accuse, also the preposition of, and the ing form of the verb. And of course, uh, remember to uh, change the pronoun you to her. Finally, the last sentence will be reported using which verb? Suggest or offer or admit? Yes, of course, the verb offer is more suitable here so we should write Rachel offered to make some tea for her father of course also here remember to use the infinitive form of the verb after offered and, and you notice that uh, the pronoun you was replaced by for her father Now you know how to report someone's exact words using special introductory verbs. This is the end of today's video lesson. Thank you very much for being attentive. And remember that this video will be available on Microsoft Teams. Goodbye.